Serial killers, especially the Zodiac Killer, are the most legendary criminals of all time. Many have been captured, but some are still at large and probably ready to commit murder. Here is a list of 10 evil serial killers that are still on the run. The Long Island Killer The Long Island Serial Killer, also known as Gilgo Beach Killer or the Craigslist Ripper, is an American unidentified suspect serial killer who's believed to have murdered 10 through 17 people associated with sex trade over a period of nearly 20 years. This killer dismembered and dumped several victims on the shore of Long Island since 1996. There has been much speculation in the media concerning the identity of the killer. It has been suggested that the serial killer is most likely a white male in his mid-20s to mid-40s who is very familiar with the south shore of Long Island and who has access to the burlap sacks which he uses to contain the bodies. He may have detailed knowledge of law enforcement techniques and perhaps even ties to law enforcement which have thus helped him avoid detection. The Vending Machine Killer Vending Machine Killer is a proposed serial killer infamous in Japan for the Paracat murders that took place in 1985. The first victim of the Paracat murders died on the 30th of April in Fukumaya after consuming a beverage laced with poisonous herbicide Paracat. Following the first murder, 11 more were killed in the same way, between the 11th of September and the 17th of November. The poisoned drinks weren't located inside the vending machines themselves, but found on top or next to them. Vending machine operators posted warnings on machines telling people not to consume the drinks found in or around the machines, after which the poisoning stopped. The West Mesa Killer The West Mesa Killer is an unidentified serial killer who is believed to have murdered 11 women. The remains of the 11 women found buried in the desert of West Mesa of Albuquerque, New Mexico. The bodies were originally found by a woman walking her dog when she stumbled across a human bone and reported the finding to the police. As a result of the subsequent police investigation, authorities discovered the remains of 11 women and a fetus buried in the area. The women were between the ages of 15 and 32, most were Hispanic, and most were involved with drugs and prostitution. No official suspects have ever been named in connection with the murders. A reward of up to $100,000 is being offered for information leading to the arrest and conviction of the person or people responsible. Edgecombe County Serial Killer The Edgecombe County Serial Killer, also known as the Seven Bridges Killer is an unidentified serial killer in the surroundings of Edgecombe County and partially in Halifax County in North Carolina. This North Carolina County witnessed the gruesome murders of nine women and a male transvestite between 2005 and 2010. All of these victims had a history of drugs and prostitution before they disappeared. The Daytona Beach Killer The Daytona Beach Killer is a serial killer responsible for the murders of four women in the Daytona Beach area from December 2005 to December 2007. Police believe the work of a serial killer who may have been targeting women with a history of prostitution. Investigators have been on the case for 10 years following leads and checking DNA samples to see if they can match average evidence taken from the crime scenes. Because of his elusiveness, several theories about the man's identities have blossomed over the years. Whatever the killer's situation, Daytona Beach Police believes he will strike again. The Stone Man Over 13 people have fallen victim to this horrendous killer in India between 1985 to 1988. This serial killer targeted homeless people who slept on the streets. He used a large rock to crush their heads while they slept. He has never been caught despite one man surviving this cruel ordeal. 12 more people were murdered again again in Calcutta in 1989 using the same crushing method. The Swayzeong Killer The Swayzeong Serial is an unsolved serial murder case that occurred in the southern Korean city of Swayzeong between September 15, 1986 and April 3, 1991. In each case, a female teen was found bounded and murdered. The murder is considered to be the most infamous in modern history of South Korea and has been compared to the Zodiac Killer. The ages of the females range from 14 to 71. Each woman was strangled to death using their own clothes. The evidence compiled led to a description of a man in his teens weighing between 165 and 170 pounds and having the blood type B based on forensic testimony. Police officers spent 2 million man days on the case and the total number of suspects also grew to an enormous numbers, eventually ending with the total count of 21,280 individuals. The B1 Butcher The B1 Butcher is an unknown serial killer in Namibia. The unidentified suspect has murdered at least 5 women between 2005 and 2007, with all murders related to the National Road B1. In 2007, a German-born Namibian 
was accused of rape and later linked to these unsolved murders. However, he was released for lack of evidence. The serial killer dismembered and decapitated some of his victims, then dumped the body parts separately. These body parts were wrapped in garbage bags and belonged to different women. As back in 2005, two similar unexplained murders of women occurred. Those two murders have subsequently also been blamed on the B1 Butcher, the New Bedford Highway Killer. The New Bedford Highway Killer is an unidentified serial killer responsible for the deaths of nine women and the disappearances of two additional women in New Bedford, Massachusetts between July 1988 and June 1989. All of the killer's victims were known prostitutes and or substance abusers. The East Area Rapist The original Night Stalker is a media nickname for an unidentified serial killer and rapist who committed 50 rapes in Northern California and murdered 12 people in Southern California from 1979 through 1986. The crimes initially centered on the unincorporated areas of Carmichael, Citrus Heights, and Rancho Cordova, all east of Sacramento where at least 50 women were sexually assaulted between June 18, 1976 and July 5th, 1979. That concludes today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, remember to hit that like button and leave a comment below letting us know what you would like to see next time. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already and thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.